Hey there! In this video, let's see how we could replicate this waveform voice monitor to reflect speech amplitude in real time. So let's start it. And while I'm speaking, we have some waveforms moving. If I stop for a second, there's nothing. And when I speak again, it starts again. For the recorder waveform, we need to implement a custom view and animate it. One way to do this is using Canvas. So Canvas is a class in Android that performs 2D drawing on the screen. There are a few things you need to know before we dive in. The first one is that the Canvas coordinate system is as follows. It starts on the top left corner of the screen and the Y axis is positive towards the right and the Y axis positive downwards. The second thing is when working with Canvas, we are working with pixels and not DPs. So positions and sizes should be in pixels. You can draw whatever you want on a canvas. It could be rectangles, circles, arcs, lines, or even images and texts. So let's say I want to draw this rectangle here. I need to give in two positions, the starting position X, Y, and the ending positions in a special manner. That is the starting position plus the width for the X and the starting position plus the height for the Y. So this is the width of my square and this is the height. So let's get into it and create a new class and name it um, waveform view. This class needs to implement a view And we need some constructors. Let's get the one with the context and the attribute sets. You should know that the main method of this class is the draw method. It is responsible for rendering whatever you want to draw on the screen. So let's add this one. Draw and select this one here to draw what you want. You can use the canvas and call the specific draw function you need. You can draw round rectangles, bitmaps, arcs, lines, as I said before. In our case, we're going to draw some round rectangles. So let's get this one. And this one needs a rect f object and two more floats, rx and ry for the radius. And the last one is the paint object. So let's first create the rect f. We give it th four informations, the starting point for the X and the Y and then the ending points. Let's say we want the rectangle of a width set to 30. We need to give it first the starting point, 20, plus the dimension, 30. Same thing for the bottom point or the last uh, coordinate. That is the starting point for the Y plus the dimension, let's say we want it to be set to 60. Also, we need to give it the radiuses, six for each one of them. And the last one is the uh, paint object. So let's implement or import this one and add a private variable called paint. This paints hold the color and the styling. So in the init block, let's set the color to a new RGB color. And set it to 244, 81 and 30. Implement the color also and here give it the paint object. Now you have a basic implementation of the canvas and in order to use it, add it to the activity layout. As any other view or view object, let's just call the waveform view as we named it and give it a match parent and a 400 pixels, remember? Also give it an ID, waveform view, and uh, 
let's actually center it here in the screen and get the text view put it on top of it remove the top constraints and add a margin bottom so if we run this we should have a rectangle let's try this and we have it I can draw another one let's copy and paste this one here and change the dimensions let's say to 60 and 60 also we need to change this too and make it a little bit larger 80 and a little bit longer let's say to 120 or even 300 if you want again we'll have another rectangle and it's this one so that's it for this video in the next one we'll see how we can connect it with the media recorder to reflect the voice amplitude see you then